Hey guys, so before I get started, I would just like to ask everybody to go down to either the description or the pinned comment and subscribe to my second channel where I'll be doing movie and TV reviews. As of right now, there's a nice little super cut there for you to watch, but uh, pretty soon I'll be putting up some pretty awesome stuff. So if you're into movies or TV at all, please support me on that. Um, it won't interfere with this channel at all. It's just during the down times because you know, there's only so many days I can make videos on this case and I like to make daily videos so it's good to have a second channel to output some things. But what I wanted to talk about was something that was discussed in the interview I had with Barbara Atwood recently where I asked her about whether or not Butch Atwood knew Cecil Smith. Now she referenced, uh, she confirmed that interview with Billy's friend's girlfriend, that that did in fact happen and she was there. But she wasn't aware of the line in it when Butch says that he knows Cecil Smith well and instructs the girl to go to get the files and say that she knows him because he knows Cecil. That's actually one of the times where she kind of just went silent. And a lot of the comments were that she was sounding untruthful. I don't think she was being untruthful. I think I was just kind of catching her. And she was unprepared. So I, I, I've been thinking about what exactly could it be that would, that would uh, make sense of all these scenarios where Cecil would say he doesn't know Butch. Butch would think he knows Cecil. And Barbara would just kind of think they don't know each other but be completely caught off guard from it. And I'm going to stop being so heavy-handed with my theories. I'm just going to kind of put ideas out there. But I think what will um, clear that up a little is actually something that is in my interview with Barbara as well as something that is in Cecil's interview that he does, the one where he says he doesn't know Butch. Barbara gives a quick little comment where she says something along the lines of, well, I don't know, maybe she had some run-ins with him or something like that. And Cecil mentions in his interview where a lot of the town, which was a small town, knew he was the only cop on so that they would tend to help him out in things. So if you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense that Butch would feel he knows Cecil being that's the only cop in the area and the fact that they've had run-ins, he would be thinking, oh, he knows me, we're friends, uh, this has happened, that's happened, I helped him look for that girl that time. So in Butch's mind, you know, all oh, the cop knows me, I, I'm in good with him. But in the cop's mind, he has hundreds and thousands of people that he has to keep track of. So to him, Butch is kind of just another guy. I mean, that, that kind of makes perfect sense if you think about it. Why one would say they know each other, the other one wouldn't. Um, to Cecil, it's more just like, okay, yeah, that guy's done a couple things. I, I remember a couple run-ins with him, but whatever. I don't really know that guy. Whereas to Butch, that's the police officer. So it's a little more important to be like, yeah, I know him. We know each other. So I think that could be the reason for it. And then, obviously, since they really don't know each other well, to Barbara, it would be more, what, what do you mean they know each other? I don't think they know each other. So... To be clear, I'm not clearing anybody or blaming anybody in this video. I, I've actually started to look into law enforcement quite a bit on this, but I want to do a lot of research before I start to throw any blame or accusations out there because I, I want to be very careful when I do that going forward. But one thing is there are many inconsistencies and oddities in the law enforcement in this area. So th there's a lot to look into. But overall, one thing is clear. Uh, from Rick Forcier, the neighbor's stalker music video, to police officer Cecil Smith's suicide, to Butch McKay's tragic end, this area is full of some shady dudes. So if you live in that area, may God watch over you. And may he watch over more, of course, too. Please like, subscribe, and comment to this channel, as well as my new channel, as I said in the beginning, my movie and film review channel, which will be pinned in the comments and in the description of the video. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. I look forward to releasing videos to you every day, if I can, or if not, every other day. So look over both channels and support me. Thank you so much.